some of this? Let me explain something, young lady. Stack up your pieces. Let me explain something to you. I'm undefeated against seven-year-old girls, so you're going down. Are you ready? How do you do this? You have to turn it on and There we go, all set. Ready, go. How'd you hurt your leg there? Oh, man. You want to resign now? That, is that what happened when you played Mike? He doesn't like it when he loses. He's starting to break my legs too, so I feel for you. Oh, extra moves, huh? Doesn't mean anything. You know what I say? What do I say? Snipers have to go. That's a sniper. All right, let's do that. You're not gonna do, I wish you would. You're not gonna do that. You wanna take it back? Up, 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 up. Hey, what are you doing? That's a free pawn. So I go here, right, bam. Then you take, now I take, that's a free pawn. But we're not done yet. Open you right up. Bam, give me that now. Give it to me now. Now watch what happens when I take him off the board. That's okay, watch what happens. You're scared, aren't you? No, 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 that isn't the way the game's played. You want to take that back? I'm giving you a chance. See how nice I am? I'm not nice. What do you mean I'm not nice? This piece can't move, can it? No? I, I'm gonna go here, only cause you like to give me money. And I'll take it. What? She, she likes to give me money. Remember the old days? You don't remember the old days? know you're tricky, so I'm not going to take my eyes off you. He doesn't have a heart. Don't believe him. That isn't the way the game's played. Okay. The, that is wrong. Bam, that's what I'm talking about. That's a free piece. You want to give me a free piece? Why would you want to do that? 
Because I think you have a trick. I don't think I like that trick. All right, we're going to do this. It's because I like you. You don't have to take back. You didn't have to take back. All right, hold on. If I go here, right, watch what happens now. Watch how nice I am. They call me the nice one. Don't they? I don't think they do. They don't? I don't know. Why did you want to give me that? <laughs> Am I supposed to tell you everything? Well, I was kind of hoping you would. Now I go here. That's not the way the game's played. No, we don't go like that. Watch. You know something? This isn't nice. I don't like you. Remember the old days when I used to like you? That was two seconds. If I do a pawn push, she takes it and it's me. That isn't good. You're not nice. <laughs> I'm undefeated against seven-year-old girls. Doesn't, doesn't it prove that she's better than you for only playing seven-year-old girls? It's me. I can't get out of it. <laughs> I can't get out of this. I'll go here. I'm taking the queen. I'm taking the queen. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mom. Mom! That wasn't nice. No, no, no handshake. That wasn't nice. You're the first. I'm going to go salt. Okay, we'll play after I cry. Can I just play you now? You can cry double heart. I can't believe it. Hey guys, Brian here, and the last six moves was absolutely amazing by Dada, man. She lost her bishop right here. She lost a pawn. She was getting completely destroyed, but she came up with a beautiful plan, sacked her rook for the exchange to get rid of this dark square bishop because she knew that she p might uh, need this um, square to be available, so she needed to get rid of that dark square bishop. And you could tell by her body language, she, she set something up, and when she played this waiting move, and she just like, you could tell by her body language, she was like, oh, this is it, this is it, do or die. And uh, she, she was kind of um, banking on the fact that Mike would take the pawn, and he did, and that was it. That was the beautiful move. That was all that she needed to deliver this beautiful mate. And it is so cool like how she did this because it's very counterintuitive for any chess player, especially, let alone an 8-year-old. So it's like um, she calculated this as well. And this is counterintuitive too because you're taught in chess so you can't really mate with a queen unless it's a, sort of a help mate here. And which that rook was doing there, taking out the escape square of the king. So wow, I am very, very amazed at, at Dada's the last six moves. That was a brilliant plan by Dada. Came back, down the entire game, and just delivered a very beautiful, stunning sack and mate. Beautifully done, Dada. If you guys want to get her hot chocolate for that beautiful sack and mate, his, her link is in the video description. And holy smokes i mean you know there's always gonna be some haters who'd be like oh mike was just going easy on her mike was not going easy on her he was completely destroying her for like the the 80 percent of the game and mike was so amazed at this checkmate um that he he went to find dada's mom to tell her about what dada did because he was so impressed so so if any, any of you guys thinking that he was going easy on her, he was not. And this is just one of those things. Any true coffee chess fan knows that I always say, I think it was Lasker who said it, that the hardest game to win is a one game. And I would say like 30% of the games you see on the channel are like this, where somebody's winning like completely and the other person just comes back out of nowhere with a brilliant plan. And I think it's just human psychology. When you're the one winning, it's easy to be overconfident and everything. And when you're the one losing, suddenly you have nothing to lose. So you're... So your brain is like very freed up to be creative and that's what Dada did here with this beautiful, beautiful um, exchange sack and 
I have to tell you, this is super deep, super deep for an eight-year-old. I mean, I would say more than, I would say 80% of chess players in the world would probably not have come up with this plan as white. Seriously, it is, it is a very deep plan. She had to figure out how to get rid of the bishop to have this square available as a waiting move. And just the fact that she made a waiting move is, is a really deep uh, idea for any chess player. And... And um, you could tell that she she knew what the plan was because she moved immediately here and here after thinking about it for a while. She she that was she she calculated it in her head and just the fact that this is like very counterintuitive. Understanding the uh, the idea of pins and just placing your queen in a position where he, he, it, it looks like it can be taken but it can't be taken. That is a very deep uh, move and and just uh yeah calculating this as well in her head this is just simply amazing it's uh, it's really cool i i i look at Dada's games and and i'm very impressed she she finds brilliant plans and moves you know and um when she comes up with stuff like this it's just wow it's very very mind blowing so beautifully done Dada. i just uh just want to we might be looking at the future us women's champs guys in maybe like 10 years so <laughs> that was a beautiful game by Dada. very very impressed if any of you watching this know any um, little girls who are interested in chess, please forward them this video. Show them, and their, their minds will be blown. Send it to all your parents, you know, all your friends who who have girls as daughters. I mean, this is uh, this is just a really amazing to see. So very, I'm very very impressed, uh, and uh, <laughs> that's basically the analysis. Just uh, analyzing her plan there as very very well done, Dada. And uh, her parents should be very proud. And a great game by Mike too, man. Just uh, you just got overconfident and got caught, man. It happens to us all. <laughs>